everybody, welcome to the Fired Up with CJ show. We have Michael Sandler here on part three, talking about his book, The Automatic Writing Experience. Oh, so Michael, um, we've so far talked about what is automatic writing, who are we talking to, what we can be using automatic writing for in part one. Part two, we talked about some logistics. When should we do it? Where should we do it? How should we do it? How do we know we're communicating to the right folks? And in this segment, we're going to be just talking about, okay, we started. You got Michael's book. And what I, and, and just a couple of plugs for your book. Um, what's great is there are very simple instructions in here. And what I think is so wonderful, um, and from all of your um, training as an athlete, you have a 30-day program that I love. And one of the things that I really loved in here, too, that I want to talk about this segment are the specific questions that you ask. Um mm-hmm. I did this for in preparation for the show. I did my own automatic writing experience using your techniques and asking some of the questions in their books and in this book. And I love them, Michael. So I really want to applaud you and the questions that you wrote and the segments that you have in your book. So, but first things first, you got the book, you're excited. You want to make sure that you're doing it right. Um, as you know, how do I know? And we talked about like how you know if you're connecting with ego or not. But it's just hard to just sit down and write. And I think in the book you talk about like uh, writing like I don't know what to write. I don't know what to write. And then some kind of fragments will come up. So is that typically what happens? What happens for people as they the initial steps in entering this program? What do, what should they expect? How it, how it tends to break down, CJ, is about 10% of people get lyrics, poetry, prose from day number one. I've never gotten lyrics yet. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Do. Yeah. But no, next 10% gets profound, deep words of wisdom. Mm-hmm. Most people get those little snippets. You are loved. It's okay, dear one. Mm-hmm. Breathe deep. Tiny little snippets. About 20% of people don't get anything for maybe a week or two but start to feel much better as we were talking about Mm. earlier. All is perfect. It comes to everyone. It doesn't mean that you're not like the Michael Jordan or the Marie Antoinette or whomever of automatic writing. It comes to everyone over time. And so you just be with the experience. So there's no one typical way that it will begin, but you do start to feel better quickly. Okay, for people who you said um, in that 20% that started to feel like, I just feel better after a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm writing, I don't know what to write, I don't know what to write, I don't, like the whole time, and maybe your love dear one comes in, and I'm writing that for two weeks. But because you're vibing, you're kind of like building, I almost view it like you describe as like a relationship building. You're building a relationship with someone where you show yes. up every day, and you're like, I'm here, I'm here to listen, and you're building kind of the ability to hear clearly by attuning to the energy. When is it that after, you know, when, I know it's hard to say, but most typically if you don't, if you're in that group that doesn't hear anything, when do you start hearing something if you maybe didn't feel anything or hear anything early? Usually within a week or two, you'll start to get tiny little snippets. Okay. Almost everyone, I'd say 90 some odd percent by the end of a month, I've had two coaching clients so far that it took them to the third month. And I've actually got a testimonial from at least one of them in awe who said, I just kept with it and feeling better and feeling better and feeling better and feeling better. And then the next thing you know, I was in awe and off to the races and my entire life changed. And it was changing through the process. Because like you say, it's an attunement. To me, a good way you can describe it, if we picture... 3D versus 5D. I know we can talk about all these different dimensions, but if you picture picture yourself reaching up to the heavens and the heavens reaching down to you and each day you're going up and up and up and it's reaching down further and further. And so you're feeling better because you're vibrating at this higher and higher level until finally the hand is grabbed and it's. Ah, I see. Got it. So don't, so stick with it. I mean, it could be, and it sounds like if you stick with it, you don't even hear anything for three months you'll probably be feeling something. Something will be uh, shifting in the process. Amazing. Now, okay. I would certainly, there's there's a whole section in the book on troubleshooting. Are there things we can do to make it easier? Are you writing your prayers out? Very important. Some people skip that step. Actually, truth be told, this is a society that doesn't read the owner's manual. And so we <laughs> tend to skip all sorts of steps. Right. 
follow the steps. Yeah. They're there for a reason. And make sure you play your music, your theta brain entrainment music. And uh, you, you can get that if you get the book. Go to automaticwriting.com. You'll get free music and all sorts of stuff. But make sure you do that and then look at your environment. You know, if you're doing it and there's a rooster screaming in your environment, chances are it's not going to go so well. <laughs> Unless the rooster is trying to give you a message, which well, could happen. Trying to give me a message. <laughs> okay, so there are different components in here, and I mentioned that in your 30-day program, you actually start off the first um, first beginning um, asking very similar kind of questions, and then you kind of change over time um, and kind of evolve the process of questioning. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Um, the, in the very beginning, you ask, what do I need to know today? Um, who am I? And what is my single-minded purpose for the day? Which is, if I were to do one thing, what is the one thing that I should be doing? And so I wanted to ask how you first came up with, you know, like, why these set of questions? So the questions that I came up with in a 30-day challenge, and if you want to go over them, I'll have to crack it out because I tend to do now questions based on people's specific circumstances. Yes. This is a great starter. Yes. Um, but they're really high-level questions to get you out of you mm -hmm. is the best way to put it. If we realize that the world is speaking to us with the three S's, signs, symbols, and synchronicities, the world is always speaking to us in signs, symbols, and synchronicities. Mm -hmm. Then these questions help you to ferret out what's going on. Why is this going on? How is this here to serve me? What do I need to know about this? What's the one mis missing piece that might be right in front of my nose that I'm not getting? Mm. And so they're very high level questions stepping you out of your circumstance to recognize this is a cosmic setup. Everything is happening through you and for you, not to you. Mm -hmm. And then when you can plug into spirit and start having kind of a two-way conversation about your life with these questions, you start to really see the world from a different perspective. Mm. And uh, one other thing that I wanted to mention, just in case this happens to different people, and I'm sure you've already had this with your clients, is that um, you had said that some people hear songs or lyrics or... and. Um, I know that when I did shamanic journeying, some people just see images or one word or an image or a color. And these are all different ways that someone may be communicating to you. So it could come in lots of different forms, just like dreams come in different kind of symbols and things like that. Are you finding that true also with automatic writing that people have it or is it usually just written a word? Automatic writing per se is usually the pen moving without thought and stuff comes out. So you're not thinking. So okay. it's not that things are even coming to you. You're not taking dictation. Okay. The pen's just moving on its own. However, there are other techniques. Eventually, Jessica will write a book on automatic drawing is my guess. Mm. And when she starts drawing, all sorts of images and ideas come out onto the page that she never expected. And, and we could even jokingly say automatic graphic design. She was trying to come up with a new logo for us for our boot camp classes about three and a half months ago, the beginning of 2021. And instead she goes, Michael, it morphed, it changed. It became the manifestation mastery circle and Napoleon Hill is who you're gonna be speaking with. <laughs> and that Thank came you. out of getting into the process of awe and allowing things to come out before her. Right, because that's that, and, and with respect to Jessica, that was kind of the more nat most natural way for her. She's evolved her process as well yes. as as um, continued onward. So um, I have. I, I will say one quick note, which is as you're plugging in more, things start to change and morph. I've had people become professional mediums and channels from practicing awe, and for myself, I now get those flashes or images coming to me because that connection is so strong. So I'll be coaching somebody and I'll be going, blue rocking chair, do I really need to mention a blue rock? That's just weird, it's not my, but when I realize it's not my uh, rocking chair coming into my consciousness, I'll say anything about it. Tell me, tell me about a rocking chair, want to tell me about a windowsill, want to tell me about a particular song, and they'll be like, oh. Yes. And that comes because you're now bathing in that channel. Right, right. Um, I wanna, um, so I actually, talk to you about coming, doing these questions um, and trying some new questions. Because I usually ask, um, I usually go into um, 
a couple things that you mentioned in terms of, we'll go back to the what people use this for. So you talked about answering big questions that you have, like something's working, what should I be doing differently? So that's kind of how I've been using, like, what do I need to know about this person that came to me with a particular idea? Should I be doing it? Should I not? What do I need to do? What may happen if I get there? Um, there are a couple of other things that I haven't used automatic writing for, surprisingly, like um, how to get unstuck and get back your get your life back on track and I've and oddly I've never used automatic writing for this so I've been noticing a pattern of behavior um, as you and I have talked in our video log every week is like a pattern of behavior of accomplishing and jumping in before a lot of discernment and contemplation and finally after like being um, given an opportunity to address my 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 uh, kryptonite, I thought I should ask why am I repeating this pattern and what um, doesn't serve me? And it was extremely helpful to actually like, I wouldn't have thought, it's almost like sometimes when you read books um, by authors like yourself, you start coming up with questions and ways of using something that you didn't think to use yeah. them for. And then um, um, in addition, there um, you talk about in, in terms of um, Rising, raising your vibration um, and get healing, doing deep healing work, which I've done before. Um, I've And manifesting, attracting what you want through automatic writing. So um, you have a whole bunch of ideas and processes you can use to um, manifest and magnetize things. And the one that I um, did today was I'm in the process of figuring out version 3.0 of my life. I have been in that process, I'd say, for like four years. Um, the first four years, I would say, would be doing, refining, doing, refining. And now I'm like sitting, sitting, refining, sitting, <laughs> refining. And as I did this, um, I, I went to the chapter in your book, um, just to give people a sense of some of the questions is, where do I want to go in life? What's a great path for me? What are my passions? What are my hopes and dreams on a soul level? And what is the mission I came here with? And I just, these questions are just so lovely. And they came up with different ways. I mean, they came up with a whole different level of um, answers than I've been receiving in the past. Um, so, yeah, so I was so happy and I wanted to ask, you know, so these questions come with through the six years of your refinement, yeah. I assume. So is this how you came up with these questions or how did you even construct some of the questions that you have embedded in these um, different ways of using your process? Either from, um, I've taught this course on automatic writing for years now. So it could be we're refining questions to be able to help practitioners or they come from awe. Ah. This book has been rewritten, you could really say four, four and a half <laughs> times, because at first when I do dove into awe, it was, uh, it, and without anybody to guide me, I did not have a guide book. Um, it was like dry, jumping on a wild Mustang. Who knew where this thing was going to take me? And when I tried to write it, um, I was so plugged in that like a thousand page, a thousand pages literally came out and I had no idea what to do with all of this jibber jabber. It wasn't uh, a refined process and wasn't a refined book. And so I had to refine it again and refine it again. Now I can go in with kind of a pinpoint or laser like accuracy and get what I want. And so I could go into awe and say, what are the top questions that people need to hear? Mm. An automatic writing is go. Kada -da, kada -da, kada -da, kada -da, kada -da. Wow, that's fantastic. Love it. Okay, and um, and in the next segment, I just want to like get your closing words and um, okay. find out a little bit more about where you're going and how people can get more involved in um, doing this work themselves. Um, we've been talking to Michael Sandler about his book, Awe, the Automatic Writing Experience. Thank you. Woohoo! <laughs>